Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. In the last video, we have seen what are services in Android and how we can create a started service in Android. Now in this video, we will talk about using services with threads. So in the last video, I have told you that service is a background task which will run in the background and which has nothing to do with your UI. But still, it's the part of your process. It's not a different process. So it will run inside your main process. Now, for example, if your service has some blocking action, for example, you wait for uh, some time in a synchronized manner, then it will block your user interface actions for this time because it's the part of your process and it's not running in the different thread. So let's see what uh, this error is which I'm talking about and then we will see how we can solve this problem using threads with services. So first of all, uh, I will start with my uh, last uh, project, which I've created in the last video for uh, starting services and stopping services. So I will uh, take the same project. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a text edit in my activity and I will change the layout width of this uh, text as fill parent, for example. And this text edit I will use to give some input from the user side while my service is running. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my service class. So this was the class which I've created in the last video, which extends from the service. And I have shown you how to create this on start command and on destroy method and this I binder and on create method. So first of all, I will go inside my on start command and in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some code which takes uh, some time or it will block my service for some time. So I will uh, take a synchronized and I will pass this context to it and inside my synchronize I will wait for some time. So I will call a method called wait and it takes time in milliseconds. So for example, you want to give time for 10 seconds, you can just give 10 thousands. Okay. So for us, uh, I think 20 second will be enough to wait. And whenever you add this wait method, you need to include a try catch block to handle this method. So just surround this by try catch block and everything will be okay. So what this uh, code will do is it will uh, wait for 20 second in a synchronized manner. So it will block your service for 20 second and it will not uh, allow your user interface to do anything. So let's run uh, this uh, app and let's see what happens. So my app is running now and for example, now I can input some text here, right? And I can delete some text from here. But observe when I click the start button, I will click the start button and then my service will start. And when my service will start, I cannot enter anything inside this added text because uh, the code is waiting for 20 seconds and it will give this message something like this that your app isn't responding you want to wait or you want to close the app for example i will wait for some time because i know my a service will run for uh, 20 seconds and after 20 seconds this uh, service will be destroyed and i can once again give this input once again okay so i think you understand the problem when i click or when i start the service which is blocking i cannot perform any task in my ui this is the problem and you will get this uh, message called your uh, uh, app is not responding do you want to close or you want to wait so now to solve this problem what we can do is we can create our service or we can start our service inside a different thread. 
okay? So when we use or when we start our service in a thread, it's independent from our main process and this will solve our problem. So let's see how we can solve it. So I will go to my uh, the service class once again and inside my the service class, I will create a class which will handle my thread. So final class and this will be the thread class. So the thread and uh, this class will contain one variable which I will call it as start our ID or service ID better. Okay, so service ID. And this uh, we will see why I'm doing this. And now I will create a constructor. So the thread, this is my constructor and I will pass one argument here and this will be same as service ID. And what I want to do is whatever I pass as a constructor argument, I want to uh, pass it to this variable. So I will just write this dot service ID is equal to service ID. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is because I want to create a thread out of it, I will implement the runnable method. Okay. So implements runnable. And when you implement runnable to your class, you need to implement a method called run. So just click this bulb here and implement this run method. Okay. And inside my run method, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut this code, which I have written in my on start command and paste it here inside my run method. Okay. Now, there is one more thing that there can be multiple services running in your app, right? And how will you know that which service you want to uh, end or close? So what we can do here is uh, just after this try catch block inside my synchronized, I can uh, call a method called stop self. Okay and this uh, will stop the service okay and it can take an an argument which is the service id so whenever you create a service your android uh, system will create a service id for this and using the service id we can close uh, this service okay so just add this uh, code here now this service id where can you find it you see in your on start command, there is a parameter called start ID and this will be your service ID. So now we have created the code for our thread. Now we can uh, create a thread and start it and then try to run our program. So I will create a thread object. Thread is equal to new thread and I will call my custom thread class so the thread and it takes one argument which is the service id so i'm going to provide the start id here okay and now i just simply need to use this uh, thread object to start the thread so thread dot start it will start the thread right now i'm going to run my program once again and my app is running once again now so you can observe I can enter some text without starting the service and when I start the service and still I can enter this uh, text here. Okay, so because this uh, service is running in different thread, I can perform actions in the UI and my service is running in the background in different threads. So both action can be done at the same time. And after 20 seconds, you will see the service destroyed method, which is coming from this code, which is this stop self uh, uh, method, right? So you can perform your actions in UI and you can start the service and you can still perform your actions in the UI. So in this way, you can use 
threads with your services in Android. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and bye for now.